Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather's peeps. This is Kathy and Kara in Michigan. Say hi, Kara. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for having everybody um, uh, come on virtually to your Facebook Norwex party. Thank you all for joining us. Um, you're watching a little video that uh, Kara and I put together to show you some of the Norwex products so that you're not just looking at them in the catalog, but you're actually seeing how they work because we're going to do a few little demonstrations and I'll show you some of the products that I have here. If you haven't heard of Norwex, Norwex is a Norwegian company and Norwex stands for Norwegian Experience. And their mission, I should say our mission now, their mission is to improve the quality of life by radically reducing chemicals in our homes. So they want to create a safe haven. They want us to create a safe haven for ourselves in our own homes. Um, I'm going to kind of use my notes because not only is this my first Facebook party, but it's my first party ever as a Norwex consultant. So thanks again, Heather, for doing that for me. Um, there are about 800 chemicals on the grocery store shelves. You know if you walk down the chemical aisle or the cleaning aisle, the scents practically overwhelm you. Only 200 of those 800 chemicals that are for household use have been tested for human safety. And it's actually believed that 80% of the chemicals used in the world are used in our homes. Um, I just want to quickly <clears throat> show you what kind of chemicals we're putting. Well, first of all, for instance, here's <clears throat> the brand name. Won't mention names. Won't, won't name names. Um, what these chemicals are, are saying on their packaging, first of all, they're not required, the makers are not required to list what is in their cleaning products. So we're not always sure what's, being, uh, what's going in our washing machine, what's going in our dryer cloths that we're using to uh, fluff, up, fluff up our dryer and scent them. But here's, here's what Lysol says. Oh, darn, I named a name. Um, <laughs> To sanitize or disinfect, pre-clean the surface. So before you even use the Lysol wipes, you have to pre-clean the surface with something else. Use enough wipes to thoroughly wet the surface, and the surface must remain wet for the entire contact time. Now here's the contact time. To sanitize, allow to remain wet for 30 seconds. You know how fast this stuff dries? Um, to disinfect, allow to remain wet for 10 minutes and then allow the surface to air dry and toss the dirty wipe away. Then, are you supposed to rinse it with water? Because now there's chemicals on the surface. <clears throat> For surfaces that come in contact with food, use only on hard, non-porous surfaces and rinse thoroughly with water. To prevent the growth of mold and mildew and their odors, pre-clean the hard, porous surfaces, wipe the surface and allow to remain wet for 10 minutes. Allow surface to air dry. Repeat applications in weekly intervals or when mold and mildew growth appears. Well, we're not going to get any mold or mildew growth because I would like to take a few minutes and show you how Norwex can clean your home with just Norwex, pro Norwex products and water, just water. The first product I want to show you is our flagship product. It's our microfiber. Um, you're looking at me now and saying, well, I can get microfiber in the stores. I can pay less for it, and I can get it in the stores. What's different about yours? Let me tell you what's different about <laughs> Norwex microfiber. <clears throat> this cloth right here is our Enviro cloth, our everything cloth. All of our cloths are labeled so that you know what they're used for. This one says Enviro, and it also says Backlock, which I'm going to get to in just a minute. Why is this different from the fiber, microfiber you buy in the store? First of all, to be called microfiber, the fibers have to be one-sixth the size of a human hair. One-sixth. Norwex microfibers are one-two-hundredth the size of a human hair. So if you were to unravel this cloth, just this one, the fibers would stretch from the Canadian border to the Mexican border, 1,800 miles of microfiber. That's the first thing that's different. It's very dense, and it's, it has, this particular cloth has a star-shaped weave so that it provides lots of little crevices for the dirt to be, and the dirt and the 
bacteria and the contaminants to be picked up in. And the last thing about our products that say backlock on them, embedded in this cloth is micro silver. Now if you know anything about silver, you know that a silver is a, a natural antibacterial agent. So it's embedded in this cloth, you can't see it, you can't feel it. It's sort of like coffee and cream, once you put the cream in the coffee and stir it up, you can't take it apart, but it's in there. And what happens is you clean your surface, you wipe up the dirt, you wipe up the crumbs, you wipe up whatever, the contaminants that are on your, um, on your surfaces get pulled up by all these little microfiber fingers. It pulls it up into the cloth and it stores it there until you're ready to rinse it out. Then when you're ready to rinse it out, you go to your sink, you run it under the water, you rub it against itself, wring it out, and you're ready to use it again. This cloth, <clears throat> and then what happens is when you hang it up to dry, when you're done with it for, for today, you hang it up to dry and the micro silver goes to work purifying the cloth. So you don't get any mold or, or um, bacteria inside the cloth. It, no smell, it cleans it right up. Eventually, after you've used it a number of times, you're going to want to wash it, um, of course, but uh, We'll, um, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So you have eight surfaces on this cloth, and in a little while we're going to do a demo for uh, a little demonstration on how to clean your windows with just Norwex and water. And you want to use it wet. You want to use it wet. Um, the <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what you're going to do is to clean your windows. Well, here I'll, I'll back up in a minute. For your windows, you can either get the Enviro cloth wet and use it on your windows, or you can use a spray bottle, whatever you're more comfortable with, just a spray bottle of regular water. Okay, so I'm going to do a little demonstration for you to show you that Norwex does pick up not only the dirt that's on your counter, but any contaminants that are on your counter. And one of the things that grosses me out the worst is chicken juice on the counter, right? So we're all really careful about um, chicken on the counter. So I have a little piece of chicken here, and I'm going to purposely rub it on the counter. So I'm actually going to purposely rub it on my surface. Heather, this is my new kitchen. It needs a little work, but it's okay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to rub it all over and the surface the cat here. is helping. So who's helping? Henrietta's helping. She's Where? right behind me watching. She's right behind me? Yeah, the other oh. way. <laughs> I thought she was on the counter watching. No. So there we go. And I have a wet enviro cloth here. And you notice that I'm not running right to the sink to wash my hands off because I can wash my hands off on my enviro cloth and take any contaminants right off my hands. So and it won't spread it from your hands. And it won't spread it because you've pulled it all up into that microfiber. So what we're going to do is you want to, um, this, this cloth has eight surfaces because we're going to fold it into fours. And I'm going to use the surface that has the tag on it so you can kind of keep track of where I cleaned with. And we're going to use it flat because we don't want to leave crevices and holes in there for you know things to get, uh, that, to get missed. So we're going to use it flat and we're going to wipe just with the Enviro cloth all that chicken juice off our counter. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to turn it up so you can see which surface I was using. Right there, there's the tag. <coughs> you have to give, forgive me, we're all getting over colds here. <clears throat> and then I have <clears throat> a tester that shows protein on a surface. Now, if we really wanted to test for bacteria, we'd have to collect the bacteria, put it in an auger, let it um, sit in heat, blah, 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 and wait three days. But we're going to test for protein, and that's what this testing strip does. So if there's protein present, it will turn purple. And any of these graded areas in between a lighter purple or a pink, a gray, a green. Is, that, is it protein? Because that's what it's it grows on. It's testing for the presence of protein. Because that's what bacteria grows on, right? That's what bacteria okay. grows on, right. <coughs> I'm so sorry. So we're going to take our, our tester out. And I'm going to swab the area that I just washed with our Norwex cloth. I'm going to swab it all over. I'm going to put it back in our tester, and I'm going to break the top of this 
little tester and let the fluid down inside. And I'm going to show you, against a white background, that it is green, which means there's no protein present. You see green at the bottom. Yep. See at the bottom? Yep. If there was protein present, it would turn purple. Well, then I got all the fluid down there. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> lest you think I'm snowing you, <laughs> is I'm going to take this swab again, and I'm going to swab the cloth where I wipe the chicken up. I'm going to put it back in here and shake it up a little bit. And again, I'm going to show you that there's no protein present. Okay. Lastly, so you know that this is indeed chicken and that we did put it on the counter, I'm going to take the swab and just put it on the chicken. It's already turning purple, as you can see. I'm going to put it back in here, shake it up a little bit. And the longer it sits in there, the more purple it will become. But you can see that it's already turning purple. So Norwex microfiber took not only the chicken juice, but all any contaminant, any protein that was on that counter and pulled it up into the cloth and got rid of it. There's, we're going to post on, on the event, on Heather's event, um, <clears throat> this uh, as well. This was a science project done, uh, I'm going to guess it was probably by a Norwex consultant's child, but a science product that they did um, <clears throat> with other products and then Norwex and water. This was, um, I think it was with... Uh, it doesn't actually say, but I, I believe it was done with chicken. So with nothing, with no cleaning, this is what came up. It was purple. With hydrogen peroxide, after putting chicken juice down and then cleaning the surface with peroxide, you can see that it's still very purple. This was cleaning with vig vinegar, which we all feel is a natural cleaner, right? This was with lemon. This was with 409, a little better. Clorox cleanup with bleach, a little better. Water and a Norwex cloth. Clear. So <clears throat> here's the spectrum of colors, and that's the color that we were right at the beginning when we cleaned it up. So <clears throat> very powerful uh, demonstration that Norwex is taking care of our, our bacteria for us. Now this cloth, I'll rinse out, but for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and use it again. So I'm just going to go to my second cleaning surface. Clean this off. <coughs> So I'd like to show you a few of our other microfiber products real quickly. One of my absolute favorites, maybe my all-time favorite, besides the EnviroCloth, is our dusting mitt. The dusting mitt is um, a little more plush. It's got a different kind of weave. You can um, just put it on, go over all your hard surfaces. If you want to dry dust, if you like to dry dust, you can do it that way. If you like to wet dust, you can uh, get it wet, wring it out really dry, and wet dust. What I usually do is dry dust, then I take my rubber brush and I can go right to my trash can and do this in the trash can, get rid of whatever's in the fibers, both sides, because you can use both sides, and then I'm ready to go again. Uh, this rubber brush is great for the dusting mitt, also for the mop system, and you can also use it to get hair off your clothes, dog hair, cat hair off your furniture. It raises the nap on your furniture very nicely, too, oh my dad. Great product. The other thing that you can use a dusting mitt for, and it's absolutely phenomenal, is to clean your screens. How many of us have taken our screens off the window, put them outside, gotten a soapy bucket of water, uh, clean the screen, rinse it off, let it dry in the sun, hang it back up, hours and hours worth of work. You take your dusting mitt, water, no cleaning products, no chemicals, run your dusting mitt over your screens, they are clean. Just rinse it out, go back and do another screen, and you're all set. Do you want to talk about <clears throat> when you dust like with Pledge or something, it just attracts more? Re yeah, that's really good care. Re remember that not only are we getting it very clean, but we're not leaving any residue on our furniture or on the surface that we're cleaning. We're not leaving a chemical residue. We're not leaving a wax buildup from the dusting sprays that we use. 
Um, we're not leaving any kind of film on our windows with the Windex that we use. Um, I really love this too because I have wrought iron on the bottom of my tables and I can just wrap my hand around the wrought iron and clean on down and it's done. It cuts your cleaning time about in half, wouldn't you say, Karen? Yeah, I'd say so. Fabulous stuff. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the Enviro one. <clears throat> This is for a little higher places, for those dust bunnies in the corners of your ceiling. For your uh, ceiling fans, you can... Um, do you want to do the ceiling fan? I can. You can do... Uh, now, you're going to see dirt here, guys. Hold on one second. Okay. Kara's going to follow me. We purposely left the dirt there. Oh, I'm catching the light. So I can... And I have a little short issue going on, too. So, so they're... Yowie. That, that was a little dirtier than I thought it was. Uh oh. <laughs> My problem. But it's grabbing it, it's not yeah. falling to the ground on you. No, that was actually a fly that you Yeah, were we just let some fly. Yeah. Um, but you can clean your fans with it, you can clean, and then you can take your rubber brush just like I did with the EnviroCloth or with a dusting mitt and brush it off. This can also be added to, this is from our mop system. You can also take this handle off. Put this handle on the mop system, extend, and you can clean very high ceiling fans and dust bunnies and the tops of windows and ledges that you can't reach if you have a cathedral ceiling. Works out really, really well. <clears throat> and while we're talking about the, the mop system, this is the superior mop system. It's got an adjustable, um, <coughs> excuse me, so sorry. You know what, I'll show you on my mop, which has been used a number of times, so it's dirty. But um, you want to have the ball of the mop of the handle right about at your nose, and you can <coughs> extend this mop real easily. This is Velcro. The base is Velcro. So all you have to do is put your, your mop down. Wow, that's really dirty. Anyway, you just want to put it down and put this on here, and it grabs it, and you're ready to go. Use it in a figure eight, kind of a figure eight. It picks up everything that in front of it, and then... For the small pieces, you would just want to tap on them. Then you can use your rubber brush, boom, 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 into the trash, just like you did with your and dusting mitt. the dry mop. This is the dry mop. So no water. Right, no water on this. Then you're going to take that piece off. And put the um, wet portion on. <coughs> Excuse me and then you're ready to mop. You can either spray it with water, or you can spray your floor with water, or you can get it wet before you put it on and use it again in a figure eight. <coughs> There's another attachment for tile that has a little, that gets into the grooves a little bit better. It's a little bit different weave. But when you're done, I believe this is a back lock yes. also. It has silver it is. in it. So this also has the silver in it. So when you're done, rinse it out. You can even use your, um, if there's anything left, use your rubber brush, rinse it out. And you don't have to wash it again right away because remember that you just rinsed out all the, the dirt and contaminants. You can use it again until you're comfortable that it needs to be cleaned. Which, mm, the one I showed you there with the dusting probably does. Time to wash. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so that's our mop system. Our towels, um, I have a towel hanging back here for the kitchen. You'll notice that it has a, a little uh, hook on it. And this particular towel, does it have a tab? It has, a, it has one of these, but it, it, you can't hang it by the tab, so they've given you something to hang it by if you wish. There's also a magnetic towel that you can uh, put up on your fridge. <coughs> I get a drink? Yeah. Just, oh. I talk amongst yourself. Yes. Sorry. Okay, the kitchen towel is um, right here, kitchen towel, a little bit different weave. This is our dishcloth. It's uh, pretty big. When you, you can use it and use it and use it and the food doesn't stick to it. Lots of times when you see something like this, you find that when you wipe something or when you uh, do the dishes, all the food sticks into it. It doesn't. It washes right out. When it's dirty and you're not happy with the way it looks or the way it smells, 
You put it in the top rack of your dishwasher and wash it with your dishes. And you, <clears throat> that does not have silver in it, so you it do not, use no. dish soap with yes. that. Yes, you want to use dish soap with that. Um, <clears throat> our body cloths are wonderful. They're microfiber, of course. They are also back locked, so they do have the silver. You can wash your entire body with these with only water. If you do use soap, you might want to put the soap on your body in the strategic places. We won't, you know, the unmentionables. And then go all over your body with the body cloth. You won't believe how soft it is. You can wash your face with it, and, um, and, it, and you'll be perfectly soft, and it'll be great. You can even use the, if, like, if you have little bumps here and there, every now and then we get little bumps, you can use your Enviro cloth, actually, to take the bumps off, or you can use this to scrub it a little extra. You gotta be careful on your face, though, because uh, it, if you scrub too hard, it will, uh, you know, it's not meant to be scrubbed hard. It's actually a clean, a very gentle cleaner. <clears throat> Our makeup remover cloths, fabulous. You can take all your eye makeup off, whether it's waterproof or not, and you can take your regular makeup off with it too. Just by getting it wet, letting it sit on your eye for a second, gently wiping, a couple wipes and it's all gone. Rub it against itself under hot water, rinse it out, you're ready to use it again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> also in the bathroom, one of our newer products is the um, back scrubber. This is also a back lock product and it has two sides, the microfiber side for um, you know, washing. Then it has this really nice little back that's kind of, kind of feels like a soft Velcro. Uh, and that's really nice for exfoliating. And it feels really good too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have full-size towels, hand towels, bath towels. Just as a matter of information, the you, you probably don't want to buy a large towel for a bath towel because they're really not that large. The extra large if you're going to go for a bath towel, go for the extra large. So um, that's our bath, our bath products. Um, the other thing we have, and I want to, don't want to forget because I know some of you are mommies, uh, we have a, a product that you'll see in the, you can see it in the catalog, but I think we also posted it on the event. It's called Pet and Dry, and we have a tiger and a pig. One's yellow and one's pink, and the, for kids who don't want to wash their hands, and you know how well they do that, um, if you hang that up, it's really cute. It's very soft nubs of microfiber. They can wash their hands and dry like this. Pet the pig, we say, and and they'll be um, they'll love it. Because there's also, and there's silver in it, so and it's it also back locked yeah. with the silver, right? There's also a child size dusting mitt. There's a child size mop system, <coughs> and there are small and viral cloths. So you can use it as a reward. You've been so good. You get to clean. I like that. Um, quickly, our other products, our um, and and I and I'm very new, so I don't have a, a great number of products <coughs> to show you. Our other products, our actual cleaning products, are enzymatic because they don't have chemicals in them. They use enzymes. They break down the particles of dirt and break them and down and break them down and break them down until there's nothing left, and then they wash away. These are our dryer balls. They come three in a box, but I can't juggle, so I'm going to only own two. There's two different kinds. There's these, the plastic ones, and then these, which I like the best, are wool. They're all, they're solid wool. Um, remember that when you wash, like for the instance, this has no fillers. This detergent has no fillers. You want to wash your cloths in a detergent with no fillers. Otherwise, the fillers will fill up all the, the little spaces in your microfiber, and it'll stop working. Then you have to boil it for 10 minutes and to get all of that junk out of there before you can use it again and it'll be effective. So you want to use, um, if, if not our Ultra Power Plus, you want to use something that has no fillers. Um, and there are some of those out there with a very minor fillers. <coughs> a lot of the, the detergent uh, products and, and some of the very best ones, the top of the line ones, are loaded with fillers. And those fillers never dissolve. And they could be whale bones, they could be peanut shells, um, they could be uh, all kinds of things. They don't have to say what they're using as fillers. So those fillers that they use to bulk up the box that you're buying, 
just sit in your clothes. When the water is gone, all of those fillers are in your clothes. If you put them in the dryer with uh, dryer um, sheets, you're adding more fillers to your clothes, clothing and you're adding chemicals to your clothing that you're putting on your body and on your little ones. I believe there's, uh, I don't know, remember how many known carcinogens in dryer sheets. It's, it's alarming. Like 16 it's or something alarming. like that, yeah. It's, and, you know, how many years have we been using those? But we got to remember that, that companies have taught us, again, walk down that aisle, you can smell all those scents. Companies have taught us that their product, that's what clean smells like. This is what clean smells like. Clean actually has no smell at all. So when you do our, your laundry with, with uh, um, a detergent with no fillers, like our Ultra Power Plus, you're not going to have any scent. If you want scent on your clothes, you can add essential oils, a few drops of essential oils to each of the balls in the dryer. It will scent your clothes, fluff your clothes, and really what it does is just lift and separate your clothes to lower drying time. <coughs> Quickly about our Ultra Power Plus, if you have a high efficiency washing machine, <coughs> I'm so sorry, if you have a high efficiency washer, you're only going to use a half to one teaspoon of detergent, That's half that. to one teaspoon. Yeah. If you have a regular washing machine, you're going to use a half to one tablespoon. Which is not much, so that goes you a just long don't need, way. It goes a very long way. Um, and the stain remover is beyond fantastic. I, I had a blouse that I accidentally washed, a white blouse with a new pair of um, navy blue slacks, and it bled all over the white blouse, all over it. And I had that brand new blouse, I'm going to have to throw this away. I used the stain remover. It's thick. It's, it's a thick, glutinous kind of. I used it. I put it kind of strategically, and then I rubbed it, all the shirt, all together. <coughs> put it back in the wash and every bit of it came out. I was really, really pleased. Um, we also have sport sign for those shoes that smell bad, those clothes that smell bad. We have odor eliminator. Um, we have a blue diamond bathroom cleaner, all enzymatic. We have toilet bowl cleaners. One system has the cleaning solution right in the system. You put the, the you, you push it down, it loads the, the brush with your I'm so sorry with the solution. Clean it, put it back in, cleans itself up, and loads, reloads again. We have cleaning paste that would replace your, um, your Ajax and your um, soft, soft scrub, scrub for cleaning your sink. You can, you can clean your, um, can you come over here for a second here? Mm -hmm. Your um, stainless steel just with your Enviro cloth and water. This has a few, sta uh, a few uh, scratches in it. But, but see, there's a few things on here that I'll just show you. Come right off with the Enviro cloth and water. And then, if you wish, you can use the polishing cloth, which, just let me grab that here. The polishing cloth, and you get a nice, streak-free shine, just like you will on your windows. The rest of that is scratch. just scratches. Yeah. The rest of those are scratches. And we'll do a separate <coughs> video with that polishing cloth. Yeah. Uh, we also have an oven and grill cleaner. Um, let's see what else do I want to tell you. Um, <clears throat> that's, we're going to do a little a window demonstration on a separate video. But um, for, for, um, for Heather booking the show tonight, or having the show tonight, and having you all join us. She's going to get free product, of course. She's going to get a hostess packet that um, is out of this world, and I believe we posted that on as well. She, plus, she's going to get a percentage of the sales in a free shopping spree. Uh, our products are guaranteed for 10 years, so it comes with a guarantee and me. So if you have any questions about how to use them, if you have any problem with any product, you can call me and um, we'll walk you through it. And, take care of you, because that's what I'm here for. Anybody spending over $100 at Heather's party tonight will get um, free shipping. I'll pay their shipping. And um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, what I'd like to do now is go back to the Facebook event so we can chat online, answer all the questions you have, and um, I can meet you all individually. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Say goodbye, Kara. Bye. 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 -bye.